All right, so in this video, I'm gonna solve the equation one to the power of x plus 10 to the power of x is equal to 100 to the power of x. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting this as one to the power of x plus 10 to the power of x is equal to 10 squared to the power of x. Now from here, I'm gonna look at the term one to the power of x. Well, let's say we have one to the power of any number, like 1000, this is still equal to one. And even if we have one to the power of infinity, this is still equal to one. So no matter, so no matter what value x could be, it's still gonna be, one to the power of x will still be equal to one, meaning we can just ignore the x and just say this is one plus 10 to the power of x is equal to 10 squared to the power of x. Now from here, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. And a to the power of m times n is the same thing as a to the power of n times m. Well, if these two are the same and a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n, this should mean that a to the power of n times m is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So in simpler terms, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So, for 10 to the power of 2 to the power of x, I can switch the values of 2 and x. So now I get 1 plus 10 to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of x to the power of 2. Now from here, I'm going to let 10 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So if I substitute in y for 10 to the power of x, I get 1 plus y is equal to y squared. Now I'm going to subtract y and 1 on both sides. So I get y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. Now what we have here is a quadratic equation. And to solve this, I'm going to be using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, I'm going to look at the coefficients. a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I get y equals negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 1 all over 2 times 1. And now this is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4 over 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So I get that the value of y is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. However, we aren't done yet. Because remember, we're solving for the value of x and not y. And we let 10 to the power of x equal to y. So I get 10 to the power of x equals 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, this gives me two equations. I get 10 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And I get 10 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So I'm going to first start with 10 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Well, to solve this, we want the x over here, which is an exponent, to turn into an actual term. And to do that, we're going to use logarithms. So I get log 10 to the power of x is equal to log of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 when I take the log on both sides. And now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, 
I can move this exponent b to the front, so this turns into b times log a. So I can move x here to the front, and I get x times log 10 is equal to log of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by log 10 because x, we, we want to isolate x. So these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 10. Now, if you already didn't know, log 10 is equal to 1. So, <clears throat> x is simply equal to log of 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And now, the exact value of this is... Zero point two zero nine. So this is one solution of x. However, <clears throat> don't remember, don't forget that we have the equation ten to the power of x is equal to one minus the square root of five over two. So to solve this, we're going to be use, we're doing the same thing. We're going to be using logarithms. So I get log 10 to the power of x is equal to log of, this time, 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now I can move x down, so I get x times log 10 is equal to log of 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. And we don't even have to divide both sides by log 10, because we already know log 10 is equal to 1. So we, we can just get rid of it, and I get x is equal to log of 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now, the log of 1 minus square root of 5 over 2, the exact value of this is actually going to be negative 0 0.209 plus 1.364i. So there is an imaginary number in this. So this is my second solution to this equation. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family. Thank you.